Live the life. Because it's time to introduce our first guest onto the sofa. So please let's welcome uh, Rashid uh, Mogradia from the Council of British Hajis and Shafi Al Gamal from After Tours. Salam alaikum. Great to have great you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Uh, and brother Shafi, yes. uh, great to have you there. Now uh, we know each other. Uh, we go back quite a bit because yes. uh, we came on Hajj with you back in 2009. It was a pleasure having you with us. I, it was a pleasure having me with you. Uh, I hope your mother... Pleasure having me with you. Yeah, ah. I hope <laughs> mommy is uh, in good health. She, she loved it. She, she always asking uh, about yourselves as well. But we'll come to you because the service you provide is, is truly amazing. Now, coming back to you, the big man, uh, you had these awards which were mm. last week, I believe, Absolutely. not that long ago, where you were rewarding those organisations that really have been offering, supplying top quality service Absolutely. in Hajj and Umrah to the people. Tell us a bit more about your organization first. So we're a welfare organization. We've been running for over 11 years now. It'll be our 11th year this year. And last year in Parliament, we have an annual Parliament year meeting. Uh, just to recap on what happened in the previous Hajj season. And last year, we launched the Excellence Awards, recognizing uh, a, f a few individuals and the airline industry. But this year, we thought we really uh, raise the mark now. Uh, there's a lot of good that's happening within the industry. Unfortunately, it's not reflected well uh, in the community. It's all overshadowed with other issues such as fraud and uh, mis-selling and so forth. So it's about recognizing individuals, uh, companies uh, that are performing uh, at a level where you know they re really are raising standards and performing a service uh, for the judge. I mean, it's a good point you raise because obviously there, there, there is some bad press. I don't want to say a lot of bad press, but mm. there is some bad press, and it's normally with a small majority. Uh, minority, small minority. Small minority. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Majority. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Small minority which, which, which do, do yeah. you know, bad things in terms of running with money, etc. So uh, has the CBH become a form of uh, kind of a, an audit watchdog. body, a watchdog for us? Mm -hmm. So, how, yeah, how do I we mean, one of the things that we do as a charity, we work very closely with the City of London Police to oversee uh, a certain mis-selling that's going on. Mm -hmm. Report the individuals and working with licensed Hajj organizers, uh, such as Mr. Shafi mm -hmm. here from After Tours and other reputable and licensed companies, to make sure there's a level playing field for consumers. They know exactly who they're buying from, almost like the HMC of the uh, yeah. Hajj yeah. uh, uh, of the Hajj Umrah sector. So there's a few initiatives I've been working on, but this was really raising the bar. Uh, and the, you know, we have to thank our sponsors, uh, Saudi Airlines, Unjum Hotels, uh, who really put uh, you know faith in us as well as uh, Makarim and Kaswa, which are uh, Saudi mm. companies, yeah. uh, and the, the local USI money and Masterfair. And I had to get these names in. Yeah. These were the guys who helped us uh, you know, deliver this dream. And it was a fantastic evening, mm. um, you know, and, and they recognized 12 different categories, one of which... Uh, so, and here's some footage right now of the event itself. Just tell us a bit about more what we're seeing here. So this was a pre-meeting in Parliament, um, and that was uh, with the... Uh, Saudi Embassy here in London, uh, Ms. Uh, Saud Al Hamdan. We had Barry Peach, who's the uh, Consul General from Jeddah. Yeah. He oversees uh, British nationals who go for Hajj and Umrah. Uh, there you go, Mr. Oh, uh, Mohammed oh. Ali from Islam Channel recognized. Actually, it's one of the things that you know we uh, were recognizing was excellence within the Hajj and Umrah sector. And one was the fact that we recognized that the channel itself, Islam Channel, yeah. had been inspiring people just as you know. Uh, individuals uh, in the Hajj yeah. sector are doing and companies uh, on people to perform Hajj. Absolutely. Uh, so you, you, you were there giving an award to, to Muhammad Ali. This is the one. This is the one. We've okay. both had the privilege of doing this. We've yeah. both had the privilege of hosting the Hajj coverage and presenting the Hajj coverage uh, for from Islam. Here from, Saudi. from here from Saudi. And, and, and this is the award that, that was given uh, uh, yeah. to Islam today in recognition for the inspiring Hajj programs. I hope it is inspiring. I hope it you is. enjoy it. Really. Not, not your grubby fingers. No, I know. I have to take my fingers off there because I think I've ruined, ruined it, it by putting my grubby it. fingerprints on there. Suddenly everybody wants to get hands on that. Just tell us, uh, before we come to Brother Shafi, tell us about the criteria that you use in order to select or award uh, that company, individuals or, or individual the, yeah. or groups who are... Okay. Who so throughout the year, we've been uh, gathering f uh, pilgrim feedback. So that started... <laughs> Uh, pretty much October 2016 uh, mm. for, the, for the new pilgrimage season and throughout. Um, a questionnaire went out after Hajj as well to all the pilgrims uh, and we got feedback from them uh, to on, on different areas uh, yeah. measuring uh, the uh, delivery of service uh, to, to the Hajjis. Similarly, we, uh, uh, we had a trade vote and uh, the trade itself were uh, giving us feedback on the best airline, best uh, right, Umrah right. company yeah. and all the different service providers throughout Hajj and Umrah 
uh, and who they saw uh, would fit the bill. And one of the uh, one of the four uh, sorry, one of the two um, areas that we wanted the trade to vote one was on the best Umrah company in the UK and best Hajj company, and that's the recognition from within the industry of who that you know they want to excel or to work towards. And yeah, you know, I'm glad we have Mr. Shafi here. So, yeah. so tell us, the, did you win an award, brother? Yes, um, what thank you, you very award? much. <laughs> 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 Mr. Shafi couldn't make it to the event, so oh, we're, no. we're going to present the award live here today. So. Oh, yeah, so oh uh, so where is the award, yeah, I wonder? So oh, <laughs> <laughs> could it be this one? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So this is the uh, 2017 Hajj al Umrah Award, Excellence Award, Excellence Awards. Uh, by the Council of uh, British Hajjis. Uh, for the best trade operator. Wow, much enough. And we're going to give it to you to then you award Brother Shah. So, the, so there were two categories, one for Hajj and Umrah. Sadly, the one with the Umrah has gone walkie. So <laughs> we're going to present you this, but get thank a you very much. one over to you. So thank you very much. I'm honoured to have this. And um, Alhamdulillah, this is recognition for our uh, service, our Hajjaj, uh, because we believe when the Hajj Hajj receive an invitation from Allah to perform Hajj. It's our duty to make sure he is the guest of Allah, and we actually serve him the way he should be served. Because in the end of the day, we want to please Allah first, and then the Hajjis. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah being um, uh, with His grace, He helped us to achieve this goal. Um, I, I, I can personally be, a, you know, a, I suppose a, um, a witness yeah, of the great service that, because I came with you back in 2009 Thank you. to mm -hmm. perform Hajj uh, with my mother. And, Masha, you know, back then it was uh, incredible, it really was, in terms of what you did for us, going above and beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. And I especially like the little uh, gift you gave us all at the end of the trip, took us <laughs> to Jeddah and to uh, a little uh, a lunch yes. by, by the beach, yes. which wasn't really expected. But it was, it was absolutely beautiful. We, the way always you up, it? we always do more. Yes, yeah, absolutely, mashallah. So, um, what can you tell us before we go to break? What can you tell us is it, it, it makes, uh, I suppose, um, after tours stand out? I mean, this came from the trade, so it's, it's a bit difficult for me to really say sure. individually. But things that uh, you know you mentioned about the services and really going beyond what you actually uh, you know promised the hujaj is mm -hmm. one of the things and. A consistency over the number of years and sadly we've not had this kind of recognition in the industry so mm -hmm. it's, it's very hard to then put a benchmark to mm -hmm. say who's performing who isn't so what we've done now is really set the standards now uh, by introducing these uh, excellence awards throughout the full <coughs> range of service providers that next year hopefully you know you might be sitting here with two or three or sure, we have competition well, within, within the industry to really work on it and I think the most important thing is for everyone to to take heed and raise standards as well because absolutely. with the sort of money that people absolutely. are paying absolutely, which yeah. is more than a luxury holiday mm. there are high expectations and they really need to be I mean yeah. it was very difficult when you came to the public vote to actually distinguish between the you know the, the top few companies because it was very very close yeah. now this is good, you know, there's already that competition, but this is to inspire companies to yeah. compete against each other to deliver good for the program. So ultimately, yeah. it's the consumer that really wins, the hujaj that wins. Absolutely. And, and know, I promise you next year, yeah. I'll make sure I'm receiving the same award. Inshallah. We hope you do. Well, look, guys, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. It's been extremely uh, inspiring and educational speaking yeah. to you both. Living yeah. the life.